Welcome to Voices from the Field, a podcast produced by the National Collaborating Center for Aboriginal Health. This program features innovative research and community-based initiatives promoting the health and well-being of Indigenous peoples in Canada. In this podcast, we'll hear from Belinda Daniels, a scholar whose land-based language camp works to revitalize and promote the use of her Cree language, or Nehiawewin, in Saskatchewan. Tansetoya, Belinda Daniels Nisiga Sun, Sturgeon Lake Utsinia, Okiskin Wahama Geonia, Uma Nehewewin, E. Pipixquean, Ikiskin Wahama Soyan, Pipixquean, Uma Nehewewin, Nanto Mitatariskiwin. My name is Belinda Daniels. I'm from Sturgeon Lake First Nations. I've been teaching Cree for over a decade and I've been teaching myself at the same time. And so I've been doing this through language camps, a grassroots initiative going on in our 13th year. So the Cree language camp came into being out of an idea through my master's project. My question at the time was, what does it mean to speak from a Nehil worldview? And so the only way that I could capture that was going back to what my ancestors did, what my grandparents did, and that is speaking Cree out on the land. I basically had no knowledge of language whatsoever. I understood what my grandparents called me, which was Nusum, which basically means my grandchild, so I knew when they were talking to me or talking about me. That's about it. Now I have this huge, amazing cohort of teachers, uh, language instructors, artists even, that I can draw from for four or five days and basically for nothing too at the same time. It comes out of like passion and, and dedication from like all of us. I try to have a male and female local kiteak, a knowledge keeper from whatever area that I'm in. And then I have an intern who's usually a teacher, comes and volunteers and wants to learn how to teach Cree. And then I usually have a couple of, um, like youth, chop wood and get water and do camp cleanup. Uh, And then I have a cap of 15 participants. And I've had participants in the past that come from all over Canada. So it's definitely grown in various ways. So initially I would go home to my home community of Sturgeon Lake. But since then, because of the curiosity of other different individuals coming to watch, they just want to come and watch and observe, right? And so I thought, well, how about I create an awareness throughout the province and move these camps throughout various First Nations Indigenous communities so that people in these various communities can see other people who are coming and wanting to learn how to speak Cree. Like I've said, I'm... um, been a scholar of uh, language revitalization for a while now and the reason why I believe it should be prioritized is because it's the essence of who we are and I have always heard other people say that our languages are the breath of who we are our languages are alive and this is what connects us to the environment it connects us to who we are it connects us to our kinship system it connects us to all of our relations And so if we don't have our languages, I believe we don't know where we really fit and we don't carry that same type of pride of who we are and where we come from. But again, because of residential schools, uh, we've been fragmented from mental well-being. I believe we suffer because we don't have our mother tongue, our indigenous languages. We don't know where we fit in this world, but we've never ever relinquished our languages, nor our identity. It's raw and we're exposing ourselves and we're being vulnerable, but I think that is what we need to do in order to be strong again. And it does make me literally come alive. I am so happy, it gives me so much passion, it gives me so much purpose. And so if I have this much pride and purpose and drive, I wanna share that, I wanna inspire others to continue learning their languages, Nehio or Dene or Dakota, all of our languages are important. Everybody needs to find out where they stand in regards to the language. My dream of this language gathering, I hope it evolves into like huge language gatherings, like what you see when you 
go to powwows and people come from all over the world to come and dance. I wish that people would come all over from around the continent to come and speak their various languages and have the same drive and pride and tenacity and passion to do it and not give in to English. When you know your language, you understand sovereignty and you understand treaties and you understand your basic inherent right as a Nehio when you know your language. And so our languages make us strong, makes us solid and collectively even my language mentors can see what's going on in the bigger scheme of things, right? And if we can all make this link together and make our language stronger, the better we are going to be as a nation. Language is nation building. For more information on Belinda Daniels and the Cree Language Camp, or to hear more podcasts in this series, go to the Voices from the Field homepage on the National Collaborating Centre for Aboriginal Health's website, nccah.ca. Music in this podcast provided by Blue Dot Sessions. It appears under a Creative Commons license. Learn more at www.sessions.blue.